In this video, I'm going to show how easy it is to use the Plunify cloud service in Synergic Workspace. I'm not going to go into the details of what Plunify is. For that, you can see their website. But in short, it's a service that allows you to run your firmware designs in the cloud. When you launch Synergic with the Plunify plugin enabled, it will add a Plunify application mode to your list of application modes. This mode that is currently selected, selected is a front end for the Plunify website. If you go to File Settings, you can configure multiple, multiple Plunify environments. As you can see at the moment, I only have one Plunify environment set up. And in this view, you can edit the configuration and the cloud setup files easily through this GUI. If I now go back to the designs mode, you will notice that I've already started the upload operation to make the video as short as possible. To give some background of the design, I will go to the files tab and you will see that this design has three VHDL, VHDL files. If we look at the build configuration on the right, we will notice that the Plunify template was used and that it has one build step. This build step is called Plunify Compile and it's for, a, for an Altera backend. If we look at settings for this build step, you will notice that we've started the uh, operation to upload this design and we've decided to synthesize locally before we submit. And just as we said that, you will see that the, the operation completed at the bottom and this job has successfully been submitted to Plunify. And because you did not see this when I started it, it's, it's literally the click of a button. So we use the default settings and we will go to run and say run all steps. So you don't have to do anything else. You click that and it will start to compile your design and upload it without you doing anything. Notice that the uploaded job ID is 3056. So if we, if we expand this details on this build step, you will notice that the last submitted job ID is set to 3056. Thus it will remember your build ID for, for this build. If we go back to the Plunify mode now, and we can go to results. You will notice under running a new job with ID 3056. That's the job that we've just submitted. When this job is completed, it will move to the complete tab and we can download that job. For the purposes of keeping the demo short, I'm going to download a job that I know was done before, a previous job. So I'm going to change the operation to download. And then I'm going to change the job ID to be downloaded to custom. By default, it's last submitted job. And the previous job I, I'm interested in is 2837. Two, and then again, you just click on run, run all steps. You will notice that the log again at the bottom of the screen gives feedback of the progress of this operation. And you will notice now that I've selected a job that did not exist. So it's a, I did not select the correct one. If you select the correct job ID, you will see as the files are downloaded, them being added to your build folder that's shown in the middle. And that is a quick overview of the Plunify integration in Synergic.